There were many things Palpatine did right. I mean, he literally created an empire from nothing. That said, there were a few things that he didn't oversee directly, and this may have changed the outcome if he had. One thing that was poorly designed was Stormtrooper armor, as well as their aim, but let's not talk about plot armor, rather their actual armor. Now some of these things that Palpatine didn't care for were the quality of his troops. He was a firm believer that the most important thing was the number of Stormtroopers versus the actual quality of his troopers in their training and their armor, whereas the First Order is focusing mostly on how well they perform, which I believe is a much better tactic. Now combat training for First Order Stormtroopers were quite unlike the Empire. They used live fire exercises, sparring practices that encouraged Stormtroopers to embrace improvisation on the battlefield, as well as all First Order Troopers received practice in the medical field and were able to treat injuries such as blaster wounds. Also to mention, they were taken from birth, so they were basically trained just like clones, however, they weren't as genetically superior as Jango Fett was. It was designed using plastoid construction materials, which was also used in a house or building. It wasn't the most ideal for protecting an Imperial from blaster fire, unfortunately, but I believe if they were more durable, then maybe we would have had some better outcomes against the Rebels, especially against the Ewoks and their stones. So, has the First Order learned anything from the Empire's mistakes? Have they made any improvements? Well, that's what this video will cover today. So the First Order is literally that. The First Order that is completing Palpatine's vision, which we're now learning is actually Snoke's, but more about that in a different video. The short answer is yes and no. First Order Stormtrooper armor has been improved, but in different ways than just strength or durability. The First Order are all about speed and athleticism. They've reduced the armor's weight, made it more balanced, and cut the armor so that it fits their soldiers much more comfortably, allowing them to run, jump, leap, duck, and fight much quicker with their comfort. Simple upgrades and lighter material led to this. However, there are some drawbacks from a certain point of view, of course. Now, they've gone as far as removing and downgrading the helmet's user interface, cancelling out some visor vision features that Imperial Stormtroopers had. They believe that this will make the whole suit lighter and allow them to turn their head and move around in a much more easy fashion. Take over. Now, in the novelization of Episode 7, Phasma has this to say about the new armor. Even a Wookiee can't crush First Order armor. Now this is a bit of a nod to the original trilogy, because in legends, comics, and books at least, that was actually a massive issue, since we'd see Wookiees getting mad and just literally ripping the limbs off stormtroopers. Sort of like exactly how Chewie ripped off Unkar Plutt's armor in this deleted scene. That said, First Order stormtroopers are literally superior with their updated joint design and improved flexibility of movement, which changes absolutely everything. This silently alludes to the First Order's new tactics and priority, which is to blitz them, hit them strong, fast, hard. And that's mainly focusing on mobility and agility, which appears to take importance over direct damage absorption by heavy armor. Another way to think of it is if you have seen Batman the Dark Knight, when he gets those suit upgrades, it's kind of like that. They seem to be putting a lot more importance on the ability to move and freedom of movement versus just being a tank. Now, while I've mentioned that, this doesn't mean the quality of the armor has been downgraded that much, if at all, as we can see that most of the kills in The Force Awakens were dealt by heavy blaster fire from the Resistance, such as Poe's X-Wing and Chewie's Bowcaster when Han charged it up. But at the end of the day, we can make all the different claims we want, citing different books, comics, and the movies, but it makes no difference what weapon is used if the heroes have plot ammo then it's just game over. <laughs> what do you guys think of the way Stormtrooper armor looks? Do you like it, or do you feel it's just a copy of Imperial Troopers? Personally, I like Clone Troopers the best. I thought they looked the most cool and menacing, but I guess we won't be getting them back anytime soon. Let me know what you'd like to see, write it down below, until the next Vader comic comes out, which is in a few weeks that I'm super excited to bring to light for you. Until the next episode of Star Wars Theory, remember, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, the Force will be with you, always. Now, fulfill.